Welcome back, my friends, to another video in the challenge series. We're sitting in the northern region of downtown in an area known as Bankers Hill. Putting 6.9.2 through the gauntlet was a lot of fun and very eye-opening to what the system can do and what it still struggles with. But this is an entirely different beast. There is no repetition or really any rhyme or reason to where we go downtown. But in the last video, it was pretty well agreed upon that four points was a good amount of time and places to really test it out. So, in the spirit of the name, we're shuffling it up. On the screen, you should be able to see that I've got four points picked out that is gonna whip us around downtown in a funny way. And as long as the waypoints do their job, it should go smoother than normal. Worst case, adjusting the waypoints or deleting spots will just throw the vehicle into a random course that we all get to enjoy. I wanna highlight that this is another high stress test for the beta. This is not a day-to-day -day representation of how it does. So go into this expecting it to be a gargantuan task and expect the beta to struggle. That's the point. That's why I do these challenge videos versus customer stuff or standard stuff that is coming. But I really wanted to get into this downtown shuffle as soon as I could. On that note, with the continued growth of the channel and increased exposure, I'm gonna take a second to kind of put out a PSA slash uh, safety announcement. So if you wanna skip that, I've broken the video down into chapters. I typically do that with my challenge series, so you can skip ahead if you like. But I think it's important to stand out and address a lot of the FUD and a lot of the problems that come our way as beta testers because it is very easy for some people to take us out of context. My video has already been captured by Dan O'Coward. He does everything he can to grab beta tester videos and smear Tesla's name by trying to make him out to look like dangerous or ridiculous or what have you. And it doesn't take much investigation to realize that he's full of it. When you actually watch the videos, beta testers at large are competent, educated, and operate in a way that is gonna keep everyone safe and help Tesla further their technology. I have no doubt that he's gonna target this video too. And in an ironic sense, it does expose more eyes to the FSD beta and hopefully the people who see our videos even through his lens actually watch them and are able to garner the full context rather than his obtuse narrative. Between him and Tesla Q and all the salty short sellers out there, it is important that all of us are extra vigilant and safely operating at all times to make sure that we don't do anything that could hinder Tesla's progress. This work is very important for the future of autonomous transportation, and it's a big deal, and it's really fun and a thrill to be a part of it. So keep a wary eye on the horizon as we go forward helping Tesla to accomplish this mission, and have some fun while you do it. All right, safety note aside, all that's left is to get out here and get going. So we are clear. The second I can activate, I'll go ahead and turn the beta on. And we'll see how 10692 handles the downtown shuffle. I am going to try to be of the state of mind to hit that report button when necessary to make sure we're getting all this data back. It's hard to remember that while commentating and trying to practice maximal safety. But I will try. We're coming in from a completely different angle than last time. Last time we came in from the south. This time we're coming in from the north on a completely different course. Here comes our first turn onto A Street. Looks like we're gonna catch this light too. The amount of vehicles parked, cars driving, pedestrians on the road. It's uh, one heck of an adventure. Okay, cool, we have a full stop here waiting at this red. We are clear for a right on red. These curbs come out quite far. We need to go. There you go, come on, let's get it. Whoa. Oh, a little close to that curb. All right, I took over there. That was more so out of my own caution. Some of these new bike lane curbs are a real pain because they jut out really far. I put that less on the car and more on me. That was more of an unnecessary disengagement. So we got to make our way all the way to the left lane to take a left on Kettner up here. You can see there's construction everywhere. And we're, uh, it's, it's just after 1400 hours here in downtown San Diego. So it's a nice busy portion of the day. Next time I do this, I'm probably gonna try to come around the morning, around seven or eight, 
there's usually a lot of delivery trucks all over these streets so it'd be fun to see how the beta actually handles getting around them it seems to be a lot better now at uh avoiding obstacles on that note, I think I might actually keep track of all the mess ups from other people too, whether they're driving or pedestrians or cyclists, maybe measure the faults of other people against the faults of the beta. That <laughs> could be fun. Hey guys, Editor Cause here, realizing it makes sense to include my own mistakes as well as other humans, including my initial unnecessary disengagement. So we'll go ahead and add that to the human error counter and you can get on with the video. It's not our turn, we got a little further to go. This lane actually should turn into a turning lane up here and hopefully it doesn't try to get over to the right lane. That's actually an error. Oh, it's correcting itself. Good job, good job. So we actually need to stay in this lane until we get our green light. All right, here we go. Left lane down a one-way road. We need to get out of this turning lane. Got a Porsche Taycan coming right at us. Here we go, nice big garbage truck. Oh, that's not good. What are you doing? Oh, we have a weird... The car decided to bail left. So now it needs to reroute itself. What are you gonna do, Beta? That was a very curious choice there. All right. Our navigation has not seemed to change. Or no, I just wasn't showing it because we were out of it with the edit stop option. <laughs> okay, it can't turn here. We've got a closed road scenario. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take over. It's not a fault of the beta, it's another one of those scenarios. This human to the left is just sitting here on her phone. We'll count that as a human error. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and merge over, delete that first waypoint as we've basically approached it. And we continue. And right away it registers the yellow and we come to a stop. Well done. See points like that closed road, that is a challenge. Like I mentioned the last downtown shuffle I did that the system at some point will have to be able to get around if it's meant to operate in these settings. Again, there could be arguments to be made of why you wouldn't need an autonomous service in a clustered downtown area. But I bet with time, even those problems could be solved. If you got any ideas of how you would solve that problem, feel free to let us all know in the comments. These are always fun discussions to have. I'd really like to know why it failed on that turn. I don't know if it was the oncoming Porsche or the large garbage truck but something spooked it, and it decided to dive into that turn. That was really interesting to watch. All right, here we go. Left turn. Nice and smooth, staying in our proper lane. Now, we will need at some point before we get to 6th Avenue, need to get over to the right so we can execute that right turn. And that last point I added, if you saw, that was a path to take us from our final waypoint just out of downtown. It's kind of what I did last time. I remembered it at the last minute. So I figured, hey, why not have it to where the goal is to successfully get out of downtown? So a little extra stop won't really be a stop. It'd be a good time to kind of discuss closing thoughts and the whole experience in general. Very smooth deceleration that I've noticed on this build. I know in the gauntlet, I was pretty harsh on it, but there are definitely areas where I've seen improvement. I've definitely noticed better acceleration control and deceleration, and not as much of a tendency to go crazy fast when not necessary. But we have a sticky situation here. This Toyota is right on us and we need to get over. Okay, take your chance. Well, not through the intersection. Oh, it's waiting. That's really good. Now, can this guy let us over? Beautiful. It's always nice when you have a slightly 
considerate human to back off a little bit. <laughs> One more block after this. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Little sticky there, little sticky there. But it got it. All right, we'll go ahead and go in here. Delete the steakhouse checkpoint. The system's gonna take a second to situate itself and reroute. Randomly wanted us to go to the left. Hopefully it's replanning good, there we go. We've corrected. Looks like we're resuming the original course. A little smoother, good job. And we actually need to take this next right. Hopefully this road shouldn't be closed at this time. So it's getting shaky. What are you doing? Really shaky. We're totally clear. There's nobody around us. There's no one in danger and harm. No one being inconvenienced. Guess I should make that really clear for some people. <laughs> oh, cool. Here's one of the delivery scenarios I was talking about. Should have an okay time getting over. There we go. I <laughs> got a little nervous. Very good. We are continuing on. Uh, to my surprise, last time we went through the downtown shovel, it actually did pretty good. I think the only real issue I had was the initial barrier. That's a pole star? Nice. So I don't think that was an EV one. Okay, yeah, we've messed up here. We're not even in the turning lane. I'm going to take over and continue straight. It just uh, it didn't register that turn lane for whatever reason. We're going to give it a second to reroute and try again. There's no need to unnecessarily cut over in the middle like that. I'm not sure what's in front of me and the light's changing, so that might be a little annoying. Yeah, I get it, but objects in the road that can hit my tires, I, uh, I'm not a fan of letting that happen. Uh, on closer inspection, it's a busted plastic takeout piece, but until I got close enough, that was a little iffy. All right, here we go. Now we need to stay in this lane to execute this left. All right. And we got the green, hopefully people aren't, uh, okay, cool, we're waiting. Good job, Beta. It sees the humans, they're targeted in blue and it will not approach them. So take that, Fudsters. These guys sitting at the corner here are throwing the beta off though. Okay, there we go. Very well done, Mew, very well done. Oh man, that stop sign's right in my lane, but it's choosing to go in between. <laughs> hey, well done. All right, let's see if it reads this right because it is treating as a stop because this light is out. We've stopped and we're proceeding through and it's recognizing that it needs to be in that turn lane it's waiting until the end of the intersection. Fantastic. <sighs> Little things like that make me very happy. Oh, that was good. Okay. Carrying through one way on one side. Good job with the lane selection. Anything other than this lane would have been a problem. We see the human targeted, slowing down. Bingo. All right, coming through. We should have plenty of time to catch this light if I'm seeing that little crosswalk thing properly. And this will kind of lead around to the right. We should carry on. Very good. I like it. I like it. A little far to the right here. I actually think this is the same road we're in the last downtown shuffle. It, it hugged right a little bit closer to the train station up here. I thought I was going to have to disengage, but it corrected itself and everything was hunky-dory. So it needs to turn left at the very end when we get to Harbor Drive. I would prefer the system to actually be staging that turn now. There's no reason to wait until we get there, especially with these openings to the left of us, this opportunity. Let's see if it seizes the opportunity. We've got no one behind us. We're clear. Well, now we do. Somebody decided they weren't going to turn. They're coming up. Not too fast, though. Oh, now we're totally clear. So we continue to get closer and closer. And here we go. Boom. Lane selection. A little bit on the brakes there, trying to adjust to these guys. 
So that was overall really good because that bus was holding things up. We're continuing all the way down. This is where we had the mob of people. That was a really fun video. The downtown shuffles were a good time. So let's go ahead. Well, I'll wait until we cross the intersection. I don't want to confuse the system unnecessarily. When you change the route or give the vehicle throttle, there it takes some time for the system to compensate and adjust. It can be thrown off because there's that interruption. But we're good. The next waypoint is laid in and we should continue on. Now we're gonna to try to venture down Harbor Drive to Petco Park. And this area over here by the Midway has always had a lot of construction. Ugh. Like an uneven road. Oh, here we go. Okay, sign saying keep right. We're cruising in at a cool 40 kilometers an hour. Metric as well. So anybody who thinks we're going really fast, remember that metric system. So you almost cut it in half. There we go. New Model X, Mustang Mach-E. Beautiful. A lot of construction been going on around here for a good while. And it is smoothly handling this really, really well. It's getting on the brakes here. It's a little confused. No one behind us. We're totally clear. I wouldn't let it hold people up for no reason. These cones are throwing it off a little bit, but it's it's figuring it out. It's taking time to kind of peer around the corner, it seems. Yeah, this is fascinating. A little bit more on the brakes there. Still nobody behind us, so I'm letting it figure this out. We are not holding up anybody. We're totally clear. Just in case you don't believe me, totally clear. All right, and we're continuing down Harbor Drive, passing, I forget what this is called, actually. So okay, we're coming out to the right side lane. See, now, genuine question to the audience. That does that, or sorry, the system does that a lot here. If, if we're going into an intersection where a new lane is emerging and it's in the right lane, it wants to stay to that right lane through the intersection. I don't know the rules behind that. Um, I need to do some research and actually see if there is any litigation behind that because it's not making a lane change per se, like a left lane change, but it is technically changing its route, but not to a lane where somebody would have already been there. So. I don't know if that's a gray area or what to think. Um, if you have ideas, let me know and I'm gonna hit the books tonight and see if I can figure that out myself. And I just realized I cannot remember if on that first crazy left turn, I technically didn't take over, but it still bailed on the course. I don't remember if I hit the camera to report that. I'm trying guys when you get caught up in moments like that remembering that camera compared to being safely Behind the vehicle or operating safely. Yeah, I don't the camera goes away from me Especially while trying to commentate it's wanting to get over get a nice pretty blue BMW to the left of us So it needs to wait. I almost wish it would just choose to abort the lane change ah, You're listening to me <laughs> That was good I also did hit the camera button while we were sitting at that light just in case. Um, I don't know how far back it goes, but I kind of thought maybe I should have caught where it was really kind of figuring out those cones. This BMW keeps dipping back and then staying in my quarter panel. It's really irritating because the car is not going to be able to make this left. It's trying to speed up to get in between these two now. It's targeting them. Oh my, Mew, are you doing this right now? <laughs> you badass. <laughs> Amazing. All right, easy, buddy. Nice left lane back into the Hard Rock Cafe area. Okay. And then we need to cruise along to the right here. And I need to prep it for waypoint deletion. That was amazing, dude. Oh, my God. That was fantastic. So now we're going to try to see if we can get out of downtown. What a ride. God, I can't wait to post this. All right, we're coming right up next to Petco Park and some uh, road closure signs and barriers. Ooh, all right, Mew. Don't embarrass me in front of these security guards. Okay, good stop, inching forward. We do have somebody behind us, so I don't want it to lag too much. Oh, how's that for puckering up? I mean, we got good clearance. It's just, it's interesting to see how it behaves with this barrier next to us. And this guy walking kind of right toward us. Okay, at least he's getting out of the way. Don't put yourself into the barrier though. Yeah, good job. 
Amazing. All right, forklift coming through. I think he's just going straight, so we should be fine. Come on, buddy. I need you to go. There you go. There you go. Good job. All right. Got a left turn coming up. We're almost to the end of this. Pretty clear. We do have a bike lane right here. So hopefully this thing hangs wide, stays in the proper lane. Very good, very good, very good. These bike lanes with these poles and such can throw it off. We're a little bit too far right here. I mean, if there are cars here, it would correct itself. I will, I'll wait till we clear it. I'm gonna go ahead and report that. Not a super substantial issue, however, a little sloppy. So, okay, uh, who's going? You going, am I going? I'm going. Oh, can't go that way. Damn, I didn't realize that's where it wanted us to navigate. Not the car's fault, my fault. I was watching another car trying to figure out who was going. But we'll go ahead and kick it back on right here. Man, all these closed roads. Whew. My brain is all over the place. I'm gonna need to do some nice, relaxing customer trips for a while. Between the gauntlet and this shuffle, my brain is shuffled. All right, buddy, there you go. Show these fudgsters what you can do. <laughs> All right. So this is actually the barrier where I, uh, I got stopped in the first downtown shuffle video, the part where I was gonna slam into the barrier, according to a certain someone. You got a nice Lamborghini Urus up there. Why are you hitting your brakes? The one behind us. It's weird, it's like you had to stop to think for a second. I don't know that this is correct, but I suspect that being a fresh update, to me, it would make sense logically that the memory or anything that was saved from the last update would be overwritten in a brand new software patch. This might be me thinking a little bit too much on the gamer side of things, like a new saved file or a new profile. I'm wondering, and I know a lot of you are really smart with software and have helped me learn a lot. I'm wondering if one of the ways that actually starts to smooth out and get better is that right now it's taking all of this in again for the first time. And then I, as I revisit it, there's a chance that the persistent memory in the vector space may aid the vehicle in kind of remembering where it's been and actually performing smoother. That is a speculative thought. I am not making any assertions that that is the case. And I would love to hear y'all's opinions on that. Okay, we're inching forward, we're good. And nice and cautious. All right, and we are back on Harbor Drive. Kind of funny enough, exiting the way we entered with the first downtown shuffle. And of course, if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's in the challenge playlist as, uh, as well as all of the other challenges I've done. There's a bunch of Friars videos and Gauntlet videos with the Friars challenge in there, the Devil's Crossroads and the La Jolla Scramble, both of those of which will be coming soon after I unshuffle my brain. All right, as we exit the dreadful downtown San Diego, my closing thoughts. So if I can recall correctly, the three times that I disengaged by not necessarily preference, but you know, closed roads or the object in the road that I wasn't sure of, I don't blame the beta for those at all. You know, those closed road scenarios are things that'll have to be figured out in time, but it's not really something that's capable now. So it's kind of out of the beta's hands. Uh, and and the, the thing in the road was just me being cautious because I like my tires. But overall, I think the vehicle did really well. I'm very impressed. You know, 10692 has got a lot of good with it. You know, there's, there's room to improve. There always is. But I am very happy with what I just saw in the downtown shuffle. Let me know what you all think. All the comments and feedback and share and like and do all the wonderful things. I'm so grateful for your time and the exposure that I'm getting now and the, you know, all the views that are coming in. I, I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work and I will catch you guys in the next video.